Welcome to our class. What I want to do today is go over the case study. Um, you may want to pause the video and go print it out if you don't have it. Remember this was posted um, for you this week. So we're going to be dealing with Lions and Tigers bad debt. And what we're going to be talking about today is we're going to be talking about how to make the calculations and how to record the journal entries. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, first of all, you were given some basic facts. You were told that industry average is 5% of credit sales or 10% of accounts receivable sales are uncollectible accounts. That's just an estimate. This information is available in a variety of different areas. Um, as the company grows, they will base it actually on their own history rather than industry averages, but this is a starting point. So for the first one, you're going to take your $350,000 of sales times your 5% industry average and you're going to get 17,500. This is your adjustment. Percentage of sales approach, very straightforward. Regardless of the approach, you're going to debit bad debt expense for some amount and you're going to credit ADA for some amount. In this case, it's really simple. We already calculated it. It's 17,500. Percentage of sales approach is the most straightforward approach and definitely the easiest. The problem is, is if I'm basing it on sales, I'm not really basing it on a number that's going to stick around for a while. If I base it on accounts receivable, I'm basing it on the accounts receivable or uh, permanent account. So it, it's more of a matching issue. So we have accounts receivable of 50,450. We were told industry average is 10%. So that's going to give us 5,000. 45. This is not our adjustment though. This is what we want the ending ADA balance to be. Okay, that's what it has to be. So we have to go one step further. We were told in the problem that ADA had a beginning balance of 450 credit. That's really important. You know whether it was a debit or a credit and it had an ending balance of 5,045. What do you have to do to make this statement true? Well, you're going to take 5,045 minus 450 and you're going to get 4,595. That is the amount of your adjustment. The debits and credits are the same, but the amounts are different. You would not do both approaches. You would pick one. For fun, if you want, in the discussion board, show me how the number would be different if this was a $450 debit balance. Um, and that will allow you and your classmates to have a little more practice with this. So then, we were told one other piece of information. Camille sent over the aging schedule and you have a specific account that is now uncollectible. So when you have a specific account that's uncollectible, you are going to debit what? No, a lot of you wanted to do bad debt expense, but you can't because you've already recorded or estimated the expense, you now need to use up that allowance, allowance for doubtful accounts, that you set aside for this purpose. You're going to debit 8250 and you're going to credit AR local vet 8250 You can see that we underestimated so what are we going to do about that? Well, we'll make up that adjustment in the next year because then when we do the adjustment, we'll realize we underestimated and then we'll compensate for it. It is just an estimate. Okay, thank you. Any questions you have, please ask them in the discussion board.